You have got to be selling this product if you want to be making some money right now. And there are a very few very smart people back three months ago who started selling this product and made an absolute fortune. And I'm sure you know where I'm going with this. However, in this video, I don't just want to tell you what that product is. I want to give you some form of direction, some form of advice on what you can sell, how you can sell and the way to do it, what platform to sell it on. And yeah, this is going to be an absolutely ridiculously cool video. I'm so excited to make it for you. So before we get started, before I tell you, before we get into it, have you hit that subscribe button? If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit the subscribe button right now. If you subscribed in the last week, then let me know in the comments down below because I would love to welcome you to this channel. I love speaking to everyone who subscribes to me. I love replying to your comments. So if you're new, let me know that you're new so I can, you know, welcome you to the family. And before I just, I'm gonna leave that and I'm gonna just get straight into the video because I just, I just wanna tell you. What's the magic product? Face masks. Now wait, before you go and you're like, oh, I know this face mask, blah, blah, blah. Let me give you some direction and let me tell you why face masks now is a huge deal. It all started about three months ago. I got a phone call and I was offered literally millions of face masks, but it was more of those surgical kind of, you know, face masks. And three months ago, it was the height of everything that was going on and I just didn't feel comfortable, I didn't feel ethical selling these kind of products, especially when in our country the NHS were struggling to get their own face masks and I didn't want to be profiting off of this. I said straight out to the person, I was like, just give them to the NHS for free, I don't want to buy them. I said, that, I said it in a nicer way, but the point is I just did not feel comfortable back then selling it. However, things have now changed. Firstly, I don't feel as Basically, I didn't want to profit off a bad situation, okay? And back then, Etsy and, 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 and you, know, you know, Printful and Redbubble, they started blowing up with face masks, right? Because they were able to source face masks, people were able to put the design on them and start selling them, and they were selling them like hotcakes. They were just flying off the shelves. And it's literally the one thing, the one reason why Etsy has blown up because they were one of the first people to start selling face masks and it just was incredible for them. Now this was three months ago and I didn't really feel comfortable selling them. But now things have changed and I wanna tell you why things have changed. Well, I actually got a watch notification that the government have now changed the rule in terms of face masks and from the 24th of July in the UK, it will be mandatory to wear face masks when going into any shop. And if you don't wear a face mask going into a shop, you could be fined up to 100 pounds. Now, what does this mean? Well, before it was mandatory, people would wear face masks, a lot of people wear face masks, but they would probably wear the disposable ones, a lot of people wear the disposable ones actually, and you kind of wear them and you don't wear them, you don't really care. Now that it's mandatory, not only will people want to buy ones that fit into their fashion sense, as weird as that is to say, it's a face mask. I was actually looking at ones that match my socks. Don't ask, I have a weird sock. I like socks, besides the point. But the fact that now it's mandatory, or will be from the 24th of July, people will want to buy ones that are reusable, they can wash, they can use again, right? They don't wanna be spending money and money and money on a face mask. And not only that, like I said, they'll want to buy nice, pretty, fancy ones. My sister already told me, oh guys, go to Redbubble to buy some face masks. I just got these really cool ones. And I'm just thinking in my head, I make videos about Redbubble. Why have I not told people to start doing this, right? So that's why the game has drastically changed. You can see from the screenshot that this is a serious thing and it's going to be literally taking place in a week so i really want you to or just over a week and i really want you to be able to take advantage of it now that there is a huge supply of face masks i don't want you to feel like it's unethical to start selling them everyone is selling them now everyone there's plenty of them right so why not try and make a bit of money whilst doing so so if you're not already selling face masks get onto redbubble literally today and start uploading your face mask. If you actually look on Redbubble, you'll see the delivery times in the UK. It delivers by the 24th or earlier. So they're actually very smart in delivering it just when we need to have them, right? And I'm talking about going into like Tesco or Sainsbury's or, or, or any shop, right? You're gonna need a face mask. And if you don't, if people aren't buying 
reusable ones, they're going to be spending a fortune on face masks. And unfortunately, it's just not going to be good for the environment having millions of face masks littered all over the place. So reusable ones are the way forward. So again, if you're not selling face masks on Redbubble already, as soon as this video is over, I want you to go straight over to Redbubble and start selling face masks. And I've actually got a little tutorial for you right now. Even if you know how to do it, watch this anyway, because I'm going to be telling you exact dimensions, exact sizes, and kind of like how to make it work in this video. So let me go through and actually show that to you right now. And here is how easy it is. Okay, so I'm going to go over to Redbubble, okay? And I thought, what artwork can I use? And I started thinking of designs and I started going like, ah, oh, what can I use? And then I just, it hit me. I'm going to use my fiance's art, right? So you remember I posted a while ago, this is her Instagram channel. Go and follow it if you want, by the way, it's just amazing. But I thought I would post her art as face masks and it would look really cool. So let me quickly show you how that's done. Right, so click onto your name, add new artwork. It's really, really easy. Upload new artwork and upload it. Now the exact dimensions, let me tell you the exact dimensions. I wrote this down because I don't remember them off by heart. The exact dimensions are 2,380 pixels by 1,630 pixels. And what I did is I took a photo of the artwork, I put it on Photoshop, I made that exact pixel size and I exported it. Now, if you don't have Photoshop, it's as easy as literally, let me show you, uh, going to Canva, okay? And this is how you do it in Canva. And this is free, by the way, so don't worry. You click Create Design, okay? And you do Custom Dimensions, you do two, three, I think I said 60 or 80, no, I said 80, by 1630, and you click Create New Design, and bam, there is your design. Now you could literally, oh, I could do this for our wedding because that hasn't taken place yet and whatever, besides the point. But you could literally upload designs over here, right? You can upload a cool design and that could be it. So let's say your design, I, the Supreme is there, but I wouldn't do that because that is illegal. Um, but whatever it is, so if it's, say it's this, right? Go full width on both sides. And this was a free image from Unsplash. So I could sell this image if I want. I would be able to download this, right? Click download. And now I'm gonna show you the upload process. So that's how easy it is. If you don't have Photoshop, you can still do this. There's no excuses here, right? Now here, so let me replace the image. Oh no, I've already uploaded the image. But so this is the artwork that I've decided to do, right? I would add the title. I would add the tags. Tags are very important here because it's how you get found. And I add a description. I would say something about this piece because it's an artwork piece. It's, you know, it's got meanings behind it. Don't ask me. But anyway, what I would do is I would disable all of this because at the moment I don't really care about all of these kind of things, right? So I would disable, I would disable, even though it looks cool on a pillow, I would disable, I would disable, I would disable, I would disable, just because like, I'm not wasting my time doing all of this right now. The only thing I want to focus on is the face mask. Okay, so let me disable everything else. And we are now at face mask. So what we want to do is we want to go into edit face mask and you can see because I put the exact right dimensions in, it goes from corner to corner and the face mask actually looks like that. Tell me that's not an insanely pretty face mask, right? That is so nice. And I'm gonna do this with a whole bunch of our artwork, but it's as simple as that. Apply the changes. And then once you've done that, you just go through, right? You get to the bottom and you click save work. And then literally your work is on Redbubble for people to see. You can share it, you don't have to share it, but people are going to be searching on Redbubble right now to buy face masks, okay? Amazon are sold out, forget Amazon. You can go onto these other smaller websites, but most of them are sold out. You've got Etsy, fine, but Redbubble is a huge search platform and people will be searching it to find face masks. So it's time to actually get your stuff on Redbubble right now. Now there is a small chance this video is just 99% too late and I'm really, really sorry for that. I should have made this video three or four weeks ago, but to be honest, back then I just did not feel it was ethical to be selling face masks when, you know, National Health Service was struggling and just, it just me personally, I didn't feel like I wanted to profit off it. Now things, like I said, have changed. So yes, this video is a tad late, but people will be buying masks way past the 24th of July as well. So people will be buying masks and not only will people be buying masks, they'll be buying masks for different outfits. So yes, they might have a mask now and they might have a green and blue one, but they'll want a red and, and yellow one. And gosh, these are horrible color combinations. But my point is people won't be buying one mask. They'll be buying masks like they buy socks and like they buy pants and like they buy 
everything else in this world. They'll be buying quite a few different masks to go with a few different outfits, as weird as that is to think. Okay, it's a new, it's a new step forward. Okay, so it's definitely not too late for you to start selling these masks. Now, this was a quick straight to the point video. I didn't want to faff. I wanted to go straight into telling you to sell the masks, how to upload them, the dimensions, and to actually get going. And if you don't know what you can um, put on your mask, go to some you know, free image websites like Unsplash. And let me show you this actually, because Unsplash is a brilliant place to go and actually have full on pictures. So for example, if you go to un unsplash.com, okay, if you don't know what to put on your mask, literally search anything. So the galaxy, bam, right there, that can go on a mask. You download that. It's, it's, um, no cop there's no it's royalty free basically you download that you if you don't have the right dimensions upload it onto canva with the right dimensions then download it and upload it onto redbubble it's that simple if you can't think about what to sell there you go and who knows this could easily kickstart your print-on-demand business even if you make a bit of money it just if it gets your redbubble seen and started it could easily kickstart your print-on-demand business to pillows and phone cases and t-shirts and all these other kinds of really cool products, right? Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I was gonna make this video in a couple of days time, but I thought, you know what? I'm gonna quickly make this video for you today. I'm making it today, editing it today, posting it today. It's gonna to be a busy day, but I just wanted to get it out there for you. So if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It's taken me a while to actually make, and it's been stressful trying to get all the pieces fit together to make it for you so I can get it out as soon as possible. I hope you liked it. And to be honest, I'm gonna go and upload a whole bunch of designs right now just to see what could happen. And let me know in the comments as well, if you've already started selling face masks, how you've been doing with it. And if you haven't, are you going to start selling face masks now? Let me know in the comments down below. And to end this video, if you liked this kind of video, you will like this video up here. This is a Redbubble video where I tell you how to actually get more sales on Redbubble, how to sharpen the search term, and you know, how to really, really get sales on Redbubble. So go and check that video out and I'll see you in the next one.